Hi, welcome back to Muddy Feet. Today I'm heading out mullet netting with my mate Vincent. Vincent is a very experienced fisherman, a family man, and to earn a crust, he is a small scale commercial netter. He specialises in catching mullet and flounder, doing very quick targeted sets to catch his fish. This allows him to process and sell a quality, fresh product direct to the public for an affordable price. Today Vincent has kindly invited me along to show me a few tricks and to share what he does for a living. In no time at all, we arrive at our first spot. Vincent manoeuvres the boat through the shallows to get up against the land and fires the first float out onto the rocks, ensuring that the end of the net is hard up against the shoreline, preventing any easy escape route for the mullet. He then reverses and steers the boat skillfully while shooting the net and ensuring that there are no twists or tangles. So if you don't have that end hard up, they go out the end, right? Yeah, pretty much with this sort of fishing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you do get a lot more. Cover that end, eh? Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. It makes me think about trying to set mine a few more different ways. Yeah. Definitely, bro. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. We hang out just next to the net for about 10 minutes, keeping a close eye on things, and then Vincent has a bit of a splash and it's time to pick up the net and see if we've managed to catch any mullet. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Gosh, they're good fish. I love that smell, bro. It's hard to explain to people that sweet, sweet mullet smell. Yeah, bro. Must be the fat in them that makes them smell so good, but certainly a good smell. Pretty unique. Yeah, well, you were saying about those big, big boys, eh? Yeah. We'll take them. We'll take them. It's a start. It's a very good start. Got a couple of fish for the smoker so far, so things are looking pretty good. There's something quite satisfying about watching a master at their craft do their work doing two or three things at once quite naturally and seemingly not even having to think about it. And just like that, the net's all reloaded and ready to go again. So we're off to the next spot to have another shot and see if we can find a few more fish. And just like that, wha-bam, the net is reset and fishing again. 
Once again, we park up next to the net for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then, this time, we do a few donuts, and then we decide we're going to have a little bit of a look at the net to see if this time we've managed to catch a few more mullet. is going to be busy this evening. Man, some nice fish bro. Yeah, you quality, eh? Look at those. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, oh, oh yes, it's happening. Some nice fish there. That's a big mullet. See, he's barely hooked, eh, at that size. Yum. Far out, yeah, that's a beast on that one. Fish there, eh? Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Hit the spots, brother. Vincent very carefully chooses his mullet spots and only soaks the net for very short periods of time. This heavily reduces the chance of any bycatch and it also means that the mullet are only meshed in the net for a very short period of time, which means no net damage. The fish also go straight into a bin of fresh salt ice. My mullet net never looks like that bro. Whoa. Beautiful. Oh. Four, ten minutes. I love that, no bycatch at all either. No, no. Just the target species. Short sets, good timing, good local knowledge, and just the target species. That's how to do it. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Not, not one thing other than a mullet. Just the target species today. Beautiful sized fish. Very nice. We're on. Make the go blue. Yeah. Let's go prep these bad boys for the smoker. I was just a little bit too far away from Vincent here, and I don't own a microphone. So unfortunately the wind buggered up this bit of audio, but Vincent was telling me that this boat is a John Gray Dory built in 1985, which makes it the same age as Vincent and a couple of years older than me. It's built out of plywood for commercial purposes and it's cool to say that it's still on the job. Time for a cup of tea now. We're on. You know the job's done? We only do cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> it is only cup of tea time the way you fish, bro. It's yeah. still morning time. Oh, man, eh? Hey, jeez, look at that. When job's done. In and out, in and out. Yeah. Bro, job done.
We'd been pretty successful at the fishing, which made it a lot harder to get up the slippery boat ramp. But after a couple of attempts, we managed to get the job done. Now, just for the short trip back to Vincent's place, we were going to split the fish and prepare them for the smoker. Oh, 75 kilos, <laughs> just enough over the back wheel to get us up there. We're off. It's a solid bin, all right, bro. Smoker's gonna be chocker. We split the mullet, gut them and gill them. We then give them a bit of a rinse and leave them to soak in that brine for a good three to four hours. We ice down the remainder of the mullet to keep them pristine for tomorrow's weekly sale to the public. While our split mullet are soaking in the brine, it's a good opportunity to split some kindling and get the fire going in the smoker. Today, we're also going to be doing a few running repairs on the racks. You did good. Hey, Tama. You look cool up close, Tama. Fixing the racks with Tama. Hey boy, don't need it. Don't need it. <laughs> don't need it, Tama. <laughs> the fish have had a mean soak in their brine. Vincent's daughter was an excellent little helper, and his big dog Tama was a pretty good supervisor. Got the mean spot over there now that it's starting to rain. Yeah, oh, we've got a big umbrella there, so one of us can just hold the umbrella. Yep, good. They come out beautifully clean, and yeah, they're beautiful, all right. Got the sugar in there. Oh. Top one first, so that no shit falls on the next one. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna try not get muddy socks. Muddy feet's okay, but <laughs> muddy feet's okay, but you don't want to get muddy socks in the scuffs. Yeah, maybe you can ride it on um, muddy feet and muddy socks. Yeah. Muddy feet and muddy socks. Yeah. Oh, just chucking them like this. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, <sorry, Brady>. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, don't put that on, bro. Shame. Racks are filling up now. Got a bloody Kiwi ingenuity right there. We're a bit short for rack space. The bro's figured it out. Bit of an A-frame. No worries. <laughs> Keep it real. Keeping it real. Whoa, done. Awesome, How good is that? Mean bro, smoke for Sean. Is that a couple of hours? Yeah. Time for dinner. On the camera. Wow, beautiful. It's 
you, bro. It's a thing of beauty. That is golden. <laughs> it's mental. Look at the fat. Mm. That's unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> bro. Happy days. It came out pretty amazing. Time for the next adventure.